Hello everyone and welcome back. Now that we know that Destiny's Spring Update will bring new weapons and gear to the game, Bungie will no doubtedly be introducing some new exotic weapons for us to collect as well. While you can expect many if not all of the remaining Year 1 exotics to return, that's not as fun as imagining what brand new exotic weapons might look like. Well, it turns out that concept artist Benjamin Ratterman has been super busy working on some really interesting concepts for what might make for some awesome new additions to Destiny's exotic arsenal. He reached out to me not too long ago with some of his new pieces, and I knew I just had to share them with you. So let's take a look at some of my favorites. The Fallen Guns not only look amazing, but have exotic perks that would really change up the way you play and inject some more diverse strategy and tactics into how you play the game. The first exotic weapon concept that I want to talk about is the Silver Coyote, an exotic hand cannon that bears a striking resemblance to the Chaperone. The Chaperone is one of my favorite guns in the game, so it's no surprise that I'm immediately drawn to this concept. Tex Mechanica is a super interesting weapon foundry and I am desperate for more guns from them. The Silver Coyote would have a high rate of fire and would even be full auto, similar to the last word, but I think this gun will be a lot more effective in PvE due to a magazine of 10 to 12 bullets and a longer effective range. The exotic perk is Mark of the Coyote. This weapon gains better aim assist while aiming down sights. When aiming at a target for 5 seconds, they will gain a debuff that allows them to be seen by you through walls for 10 seconds. This perk will only stay active while the Silver Coyote is drawn and will go away as soon as you switch weapons. It will be balanced by only working with one target at a time. This perk is pretty awesome and kinda reminds me of Keen Scout. It will reward a patient player and place to the strengths of the hand cannon class, which is to slow down and line up your shot. It's sure to make your target wish they never peeked around the corner. Next up we have the Red Star and Auto Rifle. The gun will be the same class as Red Spectre but with greater range and lower stability. I really like the design of this weapon. Destiny manages to strike a balance of traditional and futuristic weapons and I always like to see a weapon made of more traditional materials like wood. This weapon looks tactical as hell, which is perfectly in line with its exotic perk Red Star. When getting kills with this weapon you will have 5 seconds to use the shotgun attachment on the weapon. The shotgun will have the same stats as the Burden of Proof 11. To use the shotgun, you will press down R2 and R1 at the same time. I really think this is a cool concept and one that I hope Bungie eventually explores. Alternative fire types are currently missing from Destiny and I think it would add a lot more tactics to the game. A simple example of this would be a auto rifle being at full auto while hip firing and switching to burst fire while aiming down sights. But the Red Star takes this to the next level as exotic should by making the weapon a true multitasker. Imagine starting at mid-range and killing a target, then turning the corner and blasting another enemy at close range without the lag of having to switch to your shotgun. The Red Star would be perfect for those encounters where you want to carry a sniper rifle but still want to have the ability to get a close quarter kill. I think if used well, this weapon could be seriously formidable, especially in Trials of Osiris. Next we have one of my favorite concepts, the Iron Steed. This weapon would be an upgraded Kvostov, the first weapon you get in the game. You would get this gun by following an exotic quest given by the gunsmith and would slowly evolve the Kvostov into the Iron Steed, not unlike how the Husk of the Pit becomes the Eidolon ally and finally Necrochasm. I really hope that we see a lot more weapon evolutions in Destiny's future and the Iron Steed would be a great place to start. The weapon would have solar damage and be on the high impact low rate of fire side of the spectrum similar to Soros Regime or the Kvostov itself. Now the reason that this is one of my favorite new weapon concepts is because of its exotic perk Devilish Spirit. Getting multi-kills with this weapon will grant a solar overshield that burns enemies who hit it. I just love the idea of gaining an elemental shield. It's not something that we currently have in the game, but I think it would add a lot of complexity to battle. It's a concept that seems almost inevitable at this point, but I love the idea that this weapon essentially turns you into an enraged demon. The last weapon I want to touch on is my favorite of the bunch, and that's Shadow Jack, an exotic auto rifle. This is another low rate of fire high impact rifle with above average stability, reload, and aim assist. I really love the sleek minimalist stealth design of this weapon. I call this the fun police gun and here's why. The intrinsic perk is Shadow Jack. Getting 5 hits with your gun on an enemy will make them lose the ability to use their grenades or melee abilities. 10 hits will make the enemy lose the ability to run or jump. 
15 will blind the enemy and make them get knocked back by your bullets, essentially suppressing them more and more as they take damage from you. And the exotic perk is Will Against Darkness. Getting kills with this weapon reloads the weapon automatically. You will do extra damage to ultras. I think this weapon will be pretty insane from a both PvE and PvP standpoint. Now it may be a bit overpowered as it stands right now, but I think it could be balanced by giving it a lower than normal impact for its class, and a slower reload. You will make up that loss in impact and the weapon's ability to automatically reload, and you will still do extra damage to ultras. This would be an excellent weapon for support classes like Night Stalker, or really anyone trying to help out the team with a bit of suppressive fire. Now these are only a few of Benjamin's concepts. He has a ton of these and I definitely recommend checking them all out over on his ArtStation page, link in the description. It's always fun to explore new and unique ideas for weapons and perks, and I'd be lying if I said I haven't thought of my fair share. I think it's safe to say that Destiny is my favorite game of all time, and one of the reasons is the visual hook of how the weapons and gear look, especially the exotics. And the sky is the limit when it comes to exotic perks and weapons, so I hope Bungie is inspired by this work. There's a gold mine of ideas here, and it's all worth exploring. Anyways, let me know what you think of these weapons in the comments below. I know the Destiny content has been a bit barren as of late, but the frequency of my videos will increase as soon as there's more to talk about. In the meantime, I have a few analytical videos lined up for the next few weeks until the spring update, so you can look forward to those soon. Now this was a bit different than the usual content on my channel, so drop a like if you want to see more, subscribe for more Destiny content, and I will see you all next time.